Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a snow plow blade hack for concrete driveways and interlocking stone driveways. If you have a concrete driveway or interlocking bricks or stones, whatever you wanna call it, your plow blade may be scratching the concrete or the bricks, marking them up. If you got interlocking brick, they may be chipping them or pulling the interlocking brick right out of the driveway. I want to show you a hack that's going to get you around that, but first I want to give a shout out to another channel called LDK Workshop. He actually shouted out one of my videos recently about the plow blade hack, and he brought up the idea of concrete driveways. That never even crossed my mind until I saw his video. But then I was thinking about that, and I was thinking, what about interlocking brick driveways? That's even worse. If you mark all those up, or you start digging up your interlocking stones or bricks. Imagine how costly that is. You know, you spend all that money on this type of driveway and you're marking it all up or digging it up. That's not good. So I'm gonna show you a hack right now, what I do for gravel driveways, or if I need to clear some snow off my lawn, this is what I've been doing. I got videos on this that are very popular and I'll send you to those videos down below in the description of this video, I'll link to them and they'll show you how to get your ABS pipe. This is the ABS pipe I use. So what I do is I put this ABS pipe on the bottom of my blade. And in those videos, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing, how I cut the ABS pipe to fit onto the plow blade. Another thing is when you're plowing your driveway and you have your plow blade angled, there seems to be a little more weight on this side. I guess maybe it's just the way it's turned, but it digs in on the inside corner. So if I had it turned this way, that corner there would dig in more. If I had it turned the other way, that corner will dig in more. So when you use the ABS pipe, like I'm going to show you, that's when that really shines, that really helps you out. So this is what I'm talking about. When you angle the blade, see how it sits lower on one side than the other? Of course, when I put this blade down, it will level out somewhat, but there will be more weight, more digging on this corner, the way it sits. The ABS pipe will really help. So let's get to putting the ABS pipe on, and I'll show you how it looks. And then we'll try it out, so stick around to the end. Okay, just a real quick explanation. I cut my ABS pipe to length of my uh, plow blade, and then I took a saw, well, I drew a line down the middle, and I cut a line with my circular saw, you could also use a table saw, It'd probably be the better way to do it. You can see mine's all hacked up. I've been using the same one for four years and I actually cracked this the other day, hammering it on. I uh, got a little careless, uh, it was cold, so it cracked. But like I said, I've been using it off and on for four years now and hopefully you can see this, but there is some wear and tear on it. They won't last forever, but like, like I said, this has been lasting me four years. I don't use it every time or all the time, but that's the wear and tear I got. So the way this really works is when you put your ABS pipe over this edge of your plow blade, there's these bolts here with nuts and they go to the back that holds this steel edge on. This ABS pipe is gonna fit around the top of that and it's gonna fit really nice and that's gonna help hold it on. So I'm gonna take a rubber mallet and I'm gonna hammer it on. So I brought it outside so I have more room to put the plow blade on. So we're gonna spread this open a bit. Fit it on top of the edge. Then we're gonna tap it on. Okay, so just start lightly. And we'll just tap it on until it's all the way over onto the plow blade. There we have the ABS pipe over the edge of the plow blade. You can see it fits really nice. There's no pulling it off. And I'll show you when I angle it. Like this, we'll drop the plow blade. You can see how this edge will not dig now because the pipe is here and it's a nice rounded edge. So remember for this video, we're trying not to mark up our concrete driveways, our interlocking brick driveways. But remember this also works really good on gravel. So you're not pushing gravel to the sides of your driveway. And it works good on 
your lawn, say you have to plow a part of your lawn, like I do over there, I got a woodshed, and I always got to go in and get a wagon full of wood. So what I do is I plow the snow that's around the woodshed, I make a trail to get to it and from it, and this works perfect for that. And I should mention for this ATV plow blade, I use a one and a half inch ABS pipe. Now, if you're using like a truck with a big plow, I think I what I would do is I get a steel pipe and I would cut it and I would fit it over the edge of my plow blade and I would weld it on. I think it would work great for that. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate how the plow blade with the ABS pipe works right here. I know it's a paved driveway, but it'll give you an idea how it works. All right, you can see what a great job that does on pavement. You know, you know, it takes it right down to the pavement, but it doesn't dig in and doesn't scratch. So that would work great for on concrete and interlocking brick. There, you can see how the blade fits. Everything worked out really good. It's a perfect solution for this kind of stuff. Yeah, I got a bit of snow on my blade. I'll be spraying some fluid film on there. We have a snowstorm coming tonight. It's Actually, we're starting to get flurries now. It's supposed to snow all day, so I'll be plowing throughout the day, probably more tonight. And don't forget to hit the like button and go watch other videos on my channel that have to do with plowing snow with an ATV. I got all kinds of videos of plowing snow, hacks, how to take care of your equipment, and I'll link to that playlist of videos below in the description of this video. And also, if you plow with an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, let me know below in the comments. See you on the next one.